human anatomy discovery, scientists just discovered a mysterious organ lurking in the center of the human head. Medical researchers made a surprise anatomical discovery. They found what looks to be a mysterious set of salivary glands hidden inside the human head, which somehow have been missed by scientists for centuries up to now. This is on Science Alert by Peter Dockrell. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is the location of it. It's a profile of a human head. As you can see, the outline is in yellow. It's by Anthony Van Leeuwen Hoek on YouTube image. You can see where it is. This unknown entity was identified by accident by doctors in the Netherlands who were examining prostate cancer patients with an advanced type of scan called PSA, PSMA PETCT. And when paired with injections of radioactive glucose, this diagnostic tool highlights tumors in the body. But in this case, though, it showed up something else entirely nestled in the rear of the nasopharynx and quite the long time lurker. The tubular gland structure indicated by blue arrows alongside other major salivary glands in orange. Now people have three sets of very large salivary glands, but not there, explains radiation oncologist Wouter Vogel from the Netherlands Cancer Institute. He says, as far as we know, the only salivary or mucous glands in the nasopharynx are microscopically small and up to a thousand are evenly spread out throughout the mucosa. So imagine our surprise when we found these. Isn't that something? Now, salivary glands are what produce the saliva essential for our digestive system to function with the bulk of the fluid processed by three major salivary glands known as the parotid, submandibular, and sublingual glands. There are approximately 1,000 minor salivary glands too, situated throughout the oral cavity and the aerodigestive tract, but these are generally too small to be seen without a microscope. The new discovery made by Vogel's team is much larger, showing what appears to be a previously overlooked pair of glands, as tends to be the fourth set of major salivary glands located behind the nose and above the palate, close to the center of the human head. Now, uh, the first author of the study, oral surgeon Matij Valstar from the University of Amsterdam, says the two new areas that light up, that lit up, turned out to have other characteristics of salivary glands as well. We call them tubular glands, referring to their anatomical location above the torus tubarius. These tubarial glands, uh, I, I call them tubular, I'm sorry, it's tubarial glands. We call them tubarial glands. These tubarial glands were seen to exit in the PSMA PETCT scans of all the 100 patients examined in the study and physical investigations of two cadavers, one male and one female, also showed the mysterious bilateral structures revealing macroscopically visible draining ducts opening towards the nasopharyngeal wall. To our knowledge, this structure did not fit prior anatomical descriptions, researchers explained in their paper. It was hypothesized that it could contain a large number of seromucal acini with a psychological role of nasopharynx, oropharynx lubrication, and swallowing. As for how these glands have not previously been identified, the researchers suggest the structures are found at a poorly accessible anatomical location under the skull base, making them hard to make out endoscopically. It's possible duct openings could have been noticed, they say, but might not have been noticed for what they are, being part of the larger gland system. Additionally, it's not the newer PSMA PETC scan images uh, techniques that would be able to detect the structure as a salivary gland going beyond the visualization capacities capabilities of technologies like ultrasound, CT, and MRI scans. 
While the team concedes that additional research on the larger, more diverse cohort will be needed to validate their findings, they say the discovery gives us another target to avoid during radiation treatments for patients with cancer, as salary glands are highly susceptible to damage from the therapy. Preliminary data based on retrospective analysis of 723 patients who underwent radiation treatment seem to support the conclusion radiation delivered to the tuberial glands region results in greater complications for patients afterwards, a result that not only could benefit future oncology, but also seems to strengthen the case that these mysterious overlooked structures really are salivary glands. Now, um, pathologist Valerie Fitzhugh from Rutgers University, who was not involved in the study, told New York Times, it seems like they may be onto something. If it's real, it could change the way we look at disease in this region. The findings were reported on radiotherapy and oncology. This is on Science Alert by Peter Doctorow. And uh, the images are from Vastar et al. Radiotherapy and Oncology. And uh, there's also an embedded uh, video, if you want to see, in this article, Cancer Reaches Discover the New Salivary Gland. And, uh, okay, that's great. They found something new. Please leave your comments. Thank you.